Hi, how is everyone? Here I am back again with an introduction to play the piano therapy or PT, PT for short. As outlined in the book, The Hypothesis of Getting Over the Love Hump, 99 Plus One Ways, by Lourdes Soto, I am the author. And I created this Play the Piano Therapy. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to try and start where I left off. Uh, and what I say is that, uh, let me see, where was I? Okay, so I'm just going by paragraphs. Here, here is where the Play the Piano Therapy, PTPT, comes in. Most of us are aware of the fact that our brain is, in is the control center of our bodies. It is our powerhouse, our very own computer system. And what gives, and what goes on in that brain, our powerhouse, is amazing. And then to think about the things that go on in our brains that we don't even know yet. Those things that are still yet to be discovered. Such as the formula it takes to produce the thoughts, the feelings and actions we take. The neurons and the connections they make the pathways they take, firing away, the electrical storm they make. It's amazing the roadways, highways, byways, overpasses, tunnels, and bridges. Who can understand the elaborate and intricate language of communication that the brain speaks. And yes, it's uh, very interesting how the brain works. And for the most part, a lot of us take that for granted until something goes wrong. Then we're like, oh my God, oh man. Okay, so, like I said, with Play the Piano Therapy, you don't have to know how to play the piano. You just have to have one. Or maybe even a keyboard. our fingers has an emotional connection or attachment to the brain. considering uh, writing a shorter book just on play the piano therapy when you're doing this remember 
to inhale and then to exhale. chapter 99 in my book. Anyway, in my next paragraph, I say, sometimes when we are faced with the love hump, it could be like listening to the traffic reports. There's a backup over here, a backup over there, an accident over here, and an accident over there. There's all of this internal mess going on that sometimes needs to be readjusted. We can even picture it like a factory as well. You've got everything working well. The assembly line is moving along nicely. And then part of the assembly line gets overloaded. And then everything starts backing up. The machine starts to smoke, and then something else, and so on and so on. Then starts the process of getting it all, of getting it to all come together again. Okay, so think about that in the spirit of play the piano therapy. And it's going to help you to understand this therapy. And what makes it unique is that each finger, including the digits, play a, a very important role in this therapy. And if you've gone through trauma, this is very helpful. Very helpful. Even if you're not, or haven't, just getting through the day, the pressures of everyday life. Sometimes my dog will bark. 
when I get started. Okay, so that's what I will share with you for now. And until next time, take care and be blessed. <laughs>